Hello guys, today I'll be reviewing two of these products. I'll be reviewing this leave conditioner from Giovanni and I'll be reviewing this moisturizer by Lostad is called. So the review will be based on what I like about each of these products and what I don't like about each of these products. So let's dive right into this review. I'll start with the Giovanni with less moisture conditioner. What do I really like about this? I like the fact that it does a good job of hydrating and softening my hair. Yeah, like a leave-in conditioner, I wouldn't expect less of this product. So the texture is very lightweight, like it says that it is weightless. It's very light in texture. And this is what the texture looks like. This is what the texture looks like on application. When you apply to the hair, when you apply to the hair or when you rub onto your palms, it leaves like this white cast on your hands. And when you rub as well, there is like a little cast that leaves on your hair, but that disappears within minutes or within a few seconds on application. So that is that for the direct leave-in weightless moisture conditioner from Giovanni. That's what I like about this product. It's also weightless and it has, like you said, if we check the ingredients, as aqua obviously a leave conditioner is expected to be water based so it has aqua purified water as the number one ingredient and i like that and also on applica if you apply it to your palms too it's very water like like it has this moisture feel on your it leaves this moisture feel as if you've just applied water onto your palms moving on to the s called luster's no drip moisturizer this is very amazing an amazing product as well because i've exhausted this there is really nothing inside this bottle but hopefully in my next post i'll be able to get a new product and show you what the s call moisturizer content looks like so this is an amazing product too just like it is more watery in consistency and very light as compared to the Giovanni leave-in conditioner. It's amazing too. It does an amazing job of hydrating and softening your hair. It is super, super amazing. I also like the fact that the packaging of the s -Core moisturizer is very amazing. It is fantastic for application purposes. Like, because it has a spray bottle, it targets every single aspect of your hair and scalp this bottle the design the packaging is very amazing and the round feel too like it allows for easy gripping as well so in all the bottling or the packaging of this product is amazing what i don't like about the direct living with less moisture conditioner is the bottle when it comes to packaging for this product i don't really like the the bottle like it's very robotic or what do i even say like I feel, to be honest, I'm not against the manufacturers using this packaging, but I'm just like, it is not like the best medium of application for for the hair. Like, I find it very difficult to to use this because I try to scoop out products from it and apply it to my hair. I really feel like it's very it's very time consuming. So I would have preferred if this had like a spray bottle as well, but I really don't, I don't fault them because this is a living conditioner. It could have come in a jar as well. So I'll pass on that, but for me, it is not the best packaging for me. Like it's, it's very, it's, it's quite difficult for me to scoop out products from me. Sometimes I, I take like a small container, then scoop it out, then I'll start applying like it is somehow but for the s call it's very amazing what don't i like about this product is there really anything i don't like about the s call i don't think i have not discovered that about this product yet so if you've tried any of these products let me know what you think about either of them if you love both of them what you like about them what you don't like about them so i see you guys in my next video bye